Welcome to my CEH version 9 review questions. Here we're looking at 76 through 80. Alright, so IPsec, what does it do? It's a VPN technology. It provides encryption, authentication. It can protect the payload and typically works at layer 3. No, it doesn't typically. It works at layer 3. IP security is a layer 3 protocol. Layer 3 is the network layer. It deals with IP and things like that. Keep that one in mind. That one's an extremely important one because they normally ask some convoluted questions about IPsec. So make sure you understand what layers they work at. Metasploit. Metasploit is a framework currently owned by Rapid7 that is a mass collection of exploits, vulnerabilities, handlers, auxiliary connectors, and so much more. It is a framework tool that allows us to start putting together our exploits. Alright, moving on. Understand security flaws in WEP and WPA2. Sorry, WPA. Understand the encryption keys for both. Understand that these are both easily breakable. I can't go into too much details because, again, I'm trying not to violate NDA with this particular question. But if you understand how WEP and WPA1 are weak, uh, specifically with keys, you should have a, a good uh, chance of being able to answer the questions on uh, WP and WPA1. Understand the different phases of hacking and uh, which phase you can use Google search strings in. For example, if you want to Google an attack on Microsoft and you want to include all sites except accounting, how would that string look like? And what are the, the major phases of hacking? Keep in mind, those are reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, and covering your tracks. And again, make sure to understand which phase you can use Google search strings. That was the big one, because I did see on a lot of study material a lot of questions on those search strings. At least if you have a good understanding of how to use them, you'll be good. Last question for this is, what is John the Ripper? And how to use it at the command line. For example, John the Ripper is a password cracking tool, and you can use it with a word list. For example, John and wordlist.txt. What does that mean? Typically, you can do John the Ripper at the CLI, and you can have it look through a word list to try to break a password. Make sure to know John the Ripper, what it does, and how to use it in the command line. Alright, that's it for this week. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll get those answered as soon as I can. Thank you.